my next piece, I will be using this quilt of my daughter's onesies that I made a few years ago to make this hoodie jacket. I have created a mock-up of this pattern here, number 271 in the original letter love book. My main goal in making this mock-up was just to see how it fit, see if I like the length, mostly if it was going to be too small, which it seems fine. It's actually a little big, but it's a, I'm using a thick fabric, and so I think that'll be okay. And it's a like a hoodie jacket, and so that's perfectly fine with me if it's a little big. Um, so the next step is going to be to cut into my quilted fabric, which I'm definitely a little nervous about because I've held on to this for a few years. <laughs> I've never done a project like this. And my thought process is to the front pieces would be the quilted fabric. I don't have enough to do the full back, but I'd love to do the top half the back in the quilted fabric. But I want to do the sleeves in a solid fabric as well as the hood. So that's my current thought process. And so on to the next step. I am nervous, but I think I am ready to cut into my fabric. Got it lined up on this side, mainly trying to avoid this weird angel wing square. So it's on this side, then I'm going to flip it to the other side. And whatever is left over, I'm going to piece together. Just maybe put in a back panel. Back, I pinned the pattern piece down. I put some fabric weights on it, and I just want to reiterate, this is the most nervous I have ever been to cut into fabric. Just wanted to check in and make that clear. I don't know about anyone else. You can comment below what the most nerve-wracking fabric cutting experience has been for you, but this is mine. I did it. <laughs> I have sewn the back pieces together and the shoulder, the top shoulder pieces together. Next, I'd like to sew some kind of adornment to put on the top of the sleeve and also some pockets that will be on the inside. The pattern comes with pieces, po pattern pieces to sew pockets on the outside, but I don't want anything to cover the quilt look. So I'm gonna do some on the inside, see how that works out. So that's what's next. So I added a shoulder adornment. What I did was gather two separate pieces of fabric, then I sewed them together, and then I sewed it in between the sleeve and the main bodice of the jacket um, in order to make it one cohesive piece. Then I hand sewed the string of pearls on top. Then I went ahead and decided to add a few more strings of pearls, well, fake pearls, um, off the sides here. I really love it. My husband said it looks very 80s, but I don't mind that at all. Um, so that is what I chose to do for the shoulders. I went ahead and added my bias tape. I got really wide bias tape, and I went ahead and did a light blue. So I thought it re went really well with the colors that were already happening. And I decided on big white buttons. I just really liked the look of it. And... Uh, I obviously finished the sleeves. I really also like this color combo as well when they're rolled up. So that is the bias tape buttons and sleeves. So moving on to the hood. I've never attached a hood onto anything before. I think traditionally you might do like right sides together and sew it that way. And I had it pinned that way and really didn't like the look of it. I like the look of the hood kind of leading into the jacket. So what I did is I kind of laid the jacket on top of the hood and sewed it together at the bias tape seam line or um, sewing line and just so I wouldn't have like a lot of lines on this bias tape and it would still look clean and it still looks like the hood is kind of leading into the jacket. It was just a look I preferred. You obviously don't have to do it that way. That's the nice thing about this pattern is you kind of just do whatever you want. Um, but that is how I chose to attach the hood. As a side note, I did at one point forget to sew 
one of my pockets in. I sewed it on one side and forgot the other. And here's a little video clip from a TikTok video I made of the realization of that moment. Such a crazy feeling when your pattern pieces go from a pile on your sewing table to hanging up in your closet. All done. watching my video tutorial of this quilted jacket. I really enjoyed this pattern by Letterlow. I enjoyed the freedom of doing whatever I wanted with it, clearly with all of my embellishments. If you're wanting some more written instructions and photos, I will have a blog post linked below. Um, and also stay tuned, uh, subscribe if you'd like. My next project is inspired from the Bridgerton series, so maybe a Regency dress for Valentine's Day. Um, so yeah, see you next time. Bye.